Greetings and salutations, YouTube Wanderer. The Lost One Gaming here, and welcome back to Total War Thrones of Britannia, our Myrsa campaign, where, as you can see, things are about to go south again. We are at war, and uh, we're still chasing freaking Jerby around, because they literally will not go away. They're dying slowly, but they won't fully go away yet. I'm assuming they might turn around and face me now, considering how close I am. I know that they want to kill me, but uh, they may not get the opportunity. I need to send this army down to retake this territory over here, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, we'll leave that to them for right now, because they're kind of focusing over here now, so they're still kind of running. I still don't know what these guys are doing, but I'm going to have to just leave them to it, because I don't have enough time to do anything. Characters low, low, yeah, low loyalty, god one. What now? How am I supposed to... Oswald is already freaking rebelling, so he left my family, so I can't... Yeah, we gave him our daughter, and then he still freaking left, so now our daughter doesn't care about us either. So, <laughs> that's freaking great. Governors and estates. Let's see what we can do. Godwin has low loyalty, Athelred has low loyalty, but we don't really have... Do we have anything to offer them? Godwin already has two estates, so what the frick am I supposed to do with him? Like, at this point. Athelred at least doesn't have an estate, so we can say that, you know, there's a reason why. Uh, so Harold owns that, so we'll give this to, we'll give this to, El oh, frick, what am I doing here? I'm doing this backwards, aren't I? You, how am I not, strip estates, uh, action can be resolved instantly, treasury cost of a thousand, I did this one time before, hold on, if I can, Harold, I used to know how to do this, for some reason I don't know how anymore, I need to give this to Elthelred, but it won't let me. Is it... I'm not understanding why it won't let me do... Oh! Oh, because that belonged to... It says Harold, doesn't it? I forgot my king is Seawolf, so I need to give... I need to give this to Elthorid. Alright, there we go. So now you're good. You got... Not, not really good, but... We're probably going to have another freaking rebellion, and everybody's going to turn against me, and I'm just going to have to deal with all this crap, but... Um, this is probably my last attempt at this, so if it if it goes bad, it's just it's just gone this time. I I, I failed miserably at this campaign multiple times and I don't <laughs> I just like with, with my Ursa it's just hard for me. It's like the they don't respect the king, and then you've got these guys over here causing problems and issues, and you got Jerby. Okay, so they're starting to move down south, but they're not really oh god, here comes Powers. Jerby's still on the run here. What the frick are they doing, though? They've got to be taking attrition still. I should be able to catch up with them this turn, but the only problem with that is when I catch them, I'm going to have... If, if I fight them, I'm not going to have much to take on Powis, which is coming down with a massive army down on the south side, so... <sighs> and the usurpers are still on the move, too, so that doesn't help. <laughs> They're kind of leaving this My area here, though. Are rewarded. Uh, whatever. Your endeavors. All right, so we can take this back for the at the very least, the and then I can search. actually. This is just a what is this? It's a minor settlement. We'll just occupy that again. I don't think it gets us any food. It just gets us a little bit of money. Uh, so I'll keep this army. We don't have much food left. Um, so I'll keep this army over here. I might end up combining both of my armies together. But these guys are taking a lot of uh, attrition, so we're going to go ahead and fight them. And see... No, don't freaking run. Get back here. You're not allowed to run. Alright, so this actually... I'm going to fight this, just because I can. Alright. I haven't fought a battle in a minute, so I'll, I'll do it. Alright, I could have auto-resolved it, and I probably would have won, but I want to make sure of it. Alright, it's time that he dies. Alright, he does not deserve to live anymore. So then once we get this army, once we get rid of these guys, we should be able to take on powers because we'll have two armies down that way. The only thing is I hope that Gwyneth doesn't pop up around the freaking corner and like, oh yeah, we're going to take your capital now, so uh, there you go. So it's really just kind of going to be, I guess, a battle of attrition. So if we can beat their main army, we'll just have to kind of wait and build up a little bit, and then we can probably go on the offensive if we can maintain our loyalty with everybody else that we've got without actually another rebellion starting so that's the thing and i guess we'll see all right welcome to the battlefield considering that our archers are fully strength or full strength 
I believe that they're going to play a pretty pivotal role in this, considering their archers already have depleted. What the frick unit is this up here? I know you guys are eager to start this, but I'm going to need you to hold back for now. I'm going to group those two units together. I will group my general and all of my, my sword units together and axe units together as well and station them behind the spear, spread them out in a long line there and group them together. And then we'll have my spears in the front. All right, and then I'll have my cavalry. Which, which way should I do them? I usually have one on each flank, so I'll keep this unit over here. Now I'll keep the sort of depleted one on the left flank. Flank. All right, let's start the battle. A cavalry charge to the rear of an enemy formation can be devastating. You don't have to tell me these things. In reserve, and then hammer the flank or rear of the enemy. I'm very well aware, all right? I've done many things in my time as general of this great uh, kingdom. <laughs> Never mind, I've not really done great things. Uh, I've done a lot of crappy things in the process. I've, I've done really bad, actually. Uh, everybody hates me, they want me dead, and if uh, if we actually lose another territory, I might end up dead because of the fact that uh, we're gonna have a famine. So, they don't really seem to be moving as of yet. They might make a move. I'm trying to see, let's see, they've got spear units over here on the right flank. They are moving now. Their cavalry is on the move. I don't see their second unit of cavalry. It must be on the other side then. Because they had two units. I don't see this. This other unit is probably about to pop out of the goddamn trees. And I'm be like, where the frick did you come from? <laughs> I'm just be like, oh no, that's not what I was in, what, what I was hoping would happen. Let's move the archers. I swear that unit is over there in the trees. There. I know it is. So I'm going to move them slightly over here so that, that way if they do pop out of the trees we'll still be close enough to be able to fight them off with our spears so that's what we're gonna do because I, I don't want to be right there near the trees because they could easily move them down through here and I wouldn't be able to see them so I was gonna say I think what we're gonna try and do is threaten the right flank well no they've got spears over here I can't really see their whole left flank so that's the thing right now I don't know what's over there because it's all hidden in the trees. So I was going to say maybe I could send a unit, my cavalry over there to kind of spot them out at the very least. So that I can start to see what they've got. Do we have, are my archers in range yet? I feel like they should be, but they're not, it seems like. Alright, I guess I'll move them. Oh, don't freaking run. Don't do this. Don't, don't delay the inevitable. Alright. Let's go ahead. They've got some more bow archers somewhere. I know they do. There's supposed to be a second unit somewhere. Yeah, they're, they're, they're back there. The levy skirmishers. Alright, so we should... You guys are gonna get freaking wrecked. <laughs> you guys are gonna get wrecked. I hope you know that. Just prepare to die. If they don't have any spear infantry over here, I might just send my cavalry in there right off the bat and just wreck them. What kind of position... The enemy's hidden units. Where are they? Because I didn't freaking see them when they were discovered. I don't see Jack Squad. Enemy approaches. I don't even see them. Still don't. I guess they're... Uh, I guess they don't have as much as I thought they did. That's... Oh, there's the cavalry that I was looking for. Yeah, they're back there in the trees. I thought so. So let me keep an eye on my cavalry back here. I want to make sure they don't get charged by their cavalry. Um, so let's see. We're kind of just engaging in a melee uh, in a skirmish right now. Their friends are routing. So we've already routed that unit of skirmishers or bow infantry. So I want you guys to now take on that bow infantry there. Alright, let me keep an eye over here and make sure they're not charging. Cavalry is still in position over there. Alright, we're good. Alright. I need you guys to take these guys out. Alright, they shouldn't pose that much of a threat to us. Maybe Axe Infantry. Once we route them, we can start taking pot shots on their infantry. And if they don't push me, then I have no real reason to attack them as of yet. I can just sit back, waste up my ammo, and kind of just whittle them down a little bit. And make it a lot easier for my infantry in the process. So that's what I plan on doing. And I guess I could go ahead and speed through this some. And see if they're actually going to make a move. Which it doesn't seem like they are. They're just kind of all getting killed. So they're losing the combat, they're shaking, they're not routing as of yet. Let me still keep an eye on the left flank, still good. Alright, these guys are actually getting caught up in the crossfire too. Alright, so I think they're actually making a move now. Alright, so since they're making this move, we're going to move my uh, archers back. Their cavalry is coming out on the left flank. So we're going to have to go ahead and move over there. 
I'm going to send one unit of my spears to try and help out with my cavalry. I don't know if they're going to need help, but we're going to see if we can. I'm going to send this unit to do... Ah, oh, frick, they charged straight through. I didn't see them. All right, so I'll charge my cavalry. <laughs> it didn't get much done. All right, so... All right, everybody move forward and collapse on the flank here. Skirmishers, I don't know how we're doing over there in that battle. 20, uh, I think we're losing that combat. It's tw it's kind of dead even now. So actually, uh, you charge in, charging against their spears, charging against these axe infantry. I got to split this up now. So you charge in against them. All right, you charge there, and then you charge there. I'm very well aware of that. Are these guys dead back here yet? They have been routed, they are broken, we didn't sustain that many casualties even though we got actually charged. Uh, they got they got a good charge on us. They came in in a wedge formation and I was expecting them to actually do a lot more damage than they did. But I guess because this is actually my good cavalry, this is a lev uh, levy melee, not the skirmisher cav. So that's probably why, because this is, well no, they're le levy melee too. All right, so we'll come we'll come around the rank, uh, come around the flank. This is sword infantry, so we'll go ahead and see if we can charge back here and break them. All right, let's go ahead and continue our charge. I believe these guys have routed over here on this side as well. So our if our our freaking guys are running. All right, so we'll bring them back. All right, and we'll chart counter charge over on that side as well. All right, levy axe, uh, eager winning, enemy routing, 52 to 120. We should be winning that engagement as well. My cavalry is in a prolonged engagement, which is not exactly the best idea, but their levy infantry, spear infantry is routing. All right, so let's go ahead and charge these uh, skirmishers here. These guys should be routing soon as well. Let's go ahead and just go ahead and wipe up these guys here. All right, finish them off. I don't think we took that many casualties, actually, all things considered. So I'm actually pleased with... Uh, with how this turned out, all things considered. Let me go ahead and send these guys to uh, charge, the, uh, charge those skirmishers that are routing. Are they actually routing? They are broken. There's only two units that remain. These levy axe infantry, which are broken. Okay, they're broken. We're good. Victory has been achieved. Let's end the battle. Decisive victory, indeed. I'm pleased with how that went. We only lost 64 men. I didn't feel like we took that many casualties, actually. We we mopped the floor with them. We actually deployed twice as many as they did. Uh, but 413 versus 64. So that was pretty good. I would say that that was pretty decisive. So actually, now that since we didn't take that many casualties, we do stand a pretty good chance of being able to... Um, should we take on the Warriors or should we kill them? I'm going to take on the Warriors because I need all that I can. They're still running. So that's the only thing, is that I can't, I can't, I'm going to have to do this again and fight them. Um, so it's now just a question of what is Powis going to do in this time. Powis's army is not actually fully, like, done. I can go ahead and recruit, like, another unit for this uh, army. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get a unit of possibly Thanes. Because I want to have some strong uh, sword infantry for them. When they come down here so that's what we're gonna do so that'll be eight units and then we'll have this army once we get done mopping the floor with jerby we'll have this army to come back and help out as well so i think we stand if we can if we can stop everybody from uh if we can stop everybody from rebelling i think we have a good chance but everybody's loyalty is low still so uh, i don't hmm what is his chance of rebellion? Let's see. Current influence six. It's supposed to show me in loyalty like what they think. And I can't. It used to show me like what their chance of rebellion was. So I don't know. I guess we'll just have to let it go with what it is. Or I could just re I could try and remove them and kick them out of office and try and get some new people. But I don't really think that's going to help me. Uh, but. How much does it cost me to remove the character? I'm just going to do that anyway. Can I just have everybody out? Do I have to have nobles? Can I get rid of all the nobles and just take everything for myself? Because I feel like that would be a lot better for me than actually having to deal with them. Although that now brings everybody's loyalty down to absolute zero. So, well, <laughs> well, Godwin has been removed. He doesn't really have any power now, though, does does he? If I removed him from being governor, 
He doesn't really have, he does still have his states. I can't, I may have actually messed things up even worse. So, frick. Let's, let's reassign. Alright, Godwin, I'll go ahead and reassign you to office. Oh, maybe I don't need to assign you to that. Um, Staffordshire, maybe I could assign him to that one. It helps his loyalty a little bit. Harold, I will assign you to Weiss. Alright, and then Godwin, I will assign you to Offas. Alright, it doesn't really help. I guess I could have hired some more candidates, so... Okay, what candidate do we have? Can we make him the governor? 425? His loyalty is not much better. So, well... I may have just wasted that. Plus, I just lost money. Uh, we're losing, uh... We're losing food now. So that doesn't help either. I may have messed this up a lot. A lot. Hmm. If I can... Hmm. I was going to say, if I can take this back, we may be able to... I mean, we still control the farms and things around there. So technically, I don't really know how I need to play this. This is this is West Saxon. That's not... I definitely don't want to make a move on them. So I was saying if I could possibly counter these guys and then move up here, that might be the move. I just, like, we're literally running out of food, and I know if this happens, we're going to have to get rid of a unit. We're going to have to get rid of a unit, and can I get rid of my, let's see, my Cyril Archers? Maybe we'll wait a turn. We'll wait a turn and see how it goes. Alright. Maybe we might be okay. Or not. Or my king could die in the next turn, and then things go south even worse than they already were. Granted, I have not seen them make a move uh, so far. I still think they're waiting. They have like a one unit army somewhere over here that they just kind of left over there. It's Powis that is really going to be the one that's going to... What? To take your coin. You want $300 from me? 300 gold? Declaration of friends. You don't really have many enemies, so that might work out pretty well. Um, Strength. I technically am stronger than them, but uh, I'm sure. Yes, I am paying them 300 gold, though, so I don't really like that part about it, but... Uh, at least these guys are finally leaving my territory. Alright, Palace is still on the move. And they've actually taken one of my territories now. So that's great. Jerby's moving back up that way. I don't want to leave them. Because if I leave them, they're going to come back stronger. Because they're not going to... They're going to go back and take their old territory. So I feel the need to try and chase them down. But at the same time, I have to go back and take over what Palace took from me. So... I'm kind of in a crossroads here because I can't. The other army can't move up that way fast. Uh, I may have to make that sacrifice. I don't know. Where are the usurpers moving? They're moving and taking over crap too. Oh my god. The usurpers are so freaking annoying. It, it just aggravates the living crap out of it. And then it's more civil war. Oh my god. This annoys me to high heavens. Matter of fact, didn't my whole army rebel down here? Actually, no, they're still here. What territory did we lose? We lost this territory here. It's just the Civil War is what kills me every single time. I've never been able to get, like, I, I, I will do decent things and then get stuck because of the Civil War. I'm just going to move down here and prepare to die. We're just going to do that because I'm losing food. I don't have enough for really anything. I can't take this back right off the bat because I have to freaking do other things. I don't think I can siege the city because they're going to have resistance there. So, it's going to take three turns to be able to, I mean, technically, let's get a battering ram and we'll wait a couple turns and I'll uh, maintain the siege. <sighs> Palace is going to come through here and they're actually not losing people anymore. So, I think this is the end. Again. So, um, yeah. I don't know. Like I said, every time I've tried to appease the nobles and it just, it turns into a crap fest. Every time. I just, I don't understand. Like, I'll try and give them provinces and things like that and then they still try and turn, they still turn against me. Even though this time, you know, I had my King Seal Wolf kind of doing the most of the work. So, and there's Palace again coming to take over more territory. At this point, yeah.
it's it's over <laughs> it's over again i i know i don't like to give up you know like that quickly but there's a point where you realize that there really is no po uh there's no point of return and that's where this is going i have a civil war i have two wars on both flanks i barely have an army matter of fact the king's probably gonna be dead in the next turn so this is another i guess gg situation I really want it to, you know, like actually accomplish something for once, but uh, just not happening. Settlement sack, that's Jerby. We're losing 67 and we're losing gold as well. <sighs> there really, like I said, there really isn't much that I can do. I can take this back. I mean, but what good is that really going to do considering the literal lack of food that I have? I mean,. It's not going to do much. Plus, Pallas is on the way. I think I'm going to call it, guys. I'm going to end it here, and I think that's really the official end of the Myersa campaign. I'm sorry that I really couldn't do well. I don't know. Maybe I'll try and revisit this at some point and maybe try a different strategy. But I'm going to end it here, and maybe I'll see you in the next one.